On this video, I am going to show you a small demonstration of copilots running on Elidim. So let me show you an example about how to use Copilot in source code, like for example this one, EDC, which you probably don't know about it, and he will understood how your code actually is. For example, let's see that we want to add another part, block, which includes names, mouse events, description, everything. So we type part and Copilot will automatically suggest you this bunch of codes. If you don't like it, you can try to trigger the next one. And actually it shows only one option, this one. So if you like it, just press Ctrl A. And then you have the code suggested by Copilot. Is this the code that we want? Well, it actually it's just a template, so we can change background by uh, icon and this state by this state and change the relative uh, positions, for example, and the image. But still it's a very good option as a template. Now, what if we want to go to the programs, for example, we can type program and we accept this suggestion, but for example, we want something much more specific. My program, we type an action, we want to state, and yes, it should suggest me a state, state hidden in the target, let's say moon. Oh, it suggests moon, that's very good. And after um, universe collapse, for example, and it suggests me also this uh, remaining character, so it's perfect. Let's say, for example, that we want to edit a Perl subscode and we don't know about this language. But with Copilot it's very simple because you can just type codes, like for example the previous one, and it has the suggestions that you need. For example, this piece of code will be related to an if statement uh, searching for a regular expression. Or for example, we can just type the code that we want, template. Let's say that we need the second argument. So we can just select this one and select two. We want to edit a cron tab like this one, and we don't know how to set a cron every three minutes. Let's see if Copilot suggests it correctly. So yeah, this is very good looking. So we have the every three minutes statement here, and then the command that we want to use, that maybe we want to change it for another one, um, backup, something like this. We can try a much more complex statement, for example, backup MySQL every three hours from... That looks a little more complex. Let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. It understands perfectly how to use cron tabs. Okay, let's try with a different source code. Let's try to edit a source code of C to let this function making a toggle. This template is not useful, so we can try another one. If... Yeah, this looks much more correct. Let's say that we want to add a new plugin in our NeoVim config, which uh, consists about uh, blocks of configurations like this one, which includes an init, uh, an options, uh, the config uh, function call, and so on. So let's try to create a simple template using Copilot. We can uh, just type the name of the mm, my plugin and Vim. And then we can call for the init function. 
And then we have a template made, that's very interesting. We don't have a mapping, so we can comment this line. We can add the options. And the config. We finish it, and then we have our templates ready. Let's also try to see if it's able to add a plugin which is known. This is correct. Now, what happens if we edit uh, text files? Supermarket list to buy. Let's see what happens here. We set milk, bread, or we can make eggs, bread. Yeah, it's very useful. It just creates the text that you want in a very simple way. And it's funny because it looks like it reads your mind. For example, after to go to supermarket, I need to It's quite funny, but it reads your mind in some kind of way, so you uh, can save a lot of time uh, typing your text. So let's say, for example, that we want to create a web page and we have this template, so we can modify it. We can create the title, my super website. Welcome to my super website. And we can see the result here. Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's say that the title should be in the center. That looks very good. So now we have a better looking base and we can modify it. And so on. This is a very simple example about how to create a website with the help of Copilot.